Rhodes is a Greek island steeped in history. There's so much to see here beyond the beaches. We have just entered the oldest inhabited medieval town in Europe, Rhodos Town. At the moment, 6,000 people live and work here every day. Now let's go explore it. There's no better place to start your tour of Rhodes than in the Rhodes Old Town, located on the northern tip of the island. Most of what you'll see in the Old Town was constructed in the 14th century by the Knights of St. John, who occupied the island for 200 years. The Palace of the Grand Master is the most significant monument within the walls. The best way to experience the Old Town is on foot, so bring along comfortable shoes. This is Hippocrates Square, a bustling meeting point surrounded by cafes, shops, and open-air restaurants. The entire old town is encircled by thick stone walls and medieval gates like this one. Just outside the walls you'll find Mandraki Harbor. This may look just like any other marina, but it's where the Colossus of Rhodes once stood. This behemoth statue measured an impressive 110 feet and took 12 years to build. An earthquake in 226 BC sent it tumbling into the harbor. The nearby Rhodes Aquarium Museum is worth a visit if you want to check out some of the sea life from the surrounding waters. West of the old town is the Acropolis of Rhodes sitting on a hill overlooking the city. Among the ruins are an amphitheater and stadium. After a full day of sightseeing, it's time for a night of traditional food and dancing. Right now we're at restaurant Mimakos. It's perched on a hillside about 5 minutes north of Afangu town, 15 minutes south of Rolos town. This place is famous for its Greek food, but it's also famous for its Greek night. Hold on, a sec. So, Melisana, how are you? Let me mark How are you doing? Okay. Everything's perfect. Okay. Sorry about that. Like I was saying before, this place is infamous for its Greek night. Call ahead to make sure you're coming on Greek night. It's about to start in five minutes. And right here, this is our Greek mosaic. Okay. After dinner comes the entertainment, where you get to experience some traditional Greek songs and dances performed by a local dance troupe. I recommend renting a car in Rhodes so you can see as much as possible at your own pace. There are so many things to discover if you look past the beaches. Near the town of Columbia, there's a special spot with excellent panoramic views. We have just arrived here at Santa Maria Monastery. It's a five minute drive to the base from Columbia town. From there, you will walk 300 steps to the top and the reason why it's worth it is because from here, you have an incredible view of the entire island of Rodos. Do it in the morning because right now it's four o'clock and we are boiling. Amazing view. Just a short drive from Columbia is Seven Springs, a lush forest that attracts nature lovers with the peaceful sound of running water. Next, we head westward across the island to the ancient site of Camiros. We are here in one of the ancient city-states of Rhodes, Camiros. This city-state was almost completely destroyed in the year 226 BC by the earthquake that also destroyed the Colossus of Rhodes. What you see behind me is the Agora, the marketplace, and to your right, we have the residential area. At the very summit of the complex, we have the Acropolis. Camiros is worth a visit if you're a history buff like me. Prophetis Ilias is the second highest mountain in Rhodes. People come to enjoy the fresh mountain air and beautiful scenery. 
We are here at Propitis Elias Mountain. This is one of the most beautiful areas in Western Roads. And what we have behind me is the Elafos Hotel. It was built by the Italians in a Swiss chalet style. You can come here and do an overnight stay or just pass by and get a coffee. Now let's go get a frappe. While you're on the western coast, you might as well take some time to sample some local wines. This is one of the best known wineries here in Impona. Okay, so after nine different products, I fell in love with two of them. This dry white right here, and this one over here, which is like a more of a dessert wine, very similar to port in a way. Delicious. You have to try it. Come here. We're here at another winery in Impona. It's called Alexandris. This family owned business produces seven different wines, and I'm about to try the Athiri, which is their white wine. And this is the owner. Eight. Come here. Eight. There's eight. So there's eight different wines. Sorry, he said seven at first. And this is one of the stronger wines. This is like a... Wow, this is like a port wine. Mm, delicious, delicioso. <laughs> so we're here at the third and final stop in Emponas, Mercury's Wines. They've been here since 1935 and today I'm going to try some of their sweet wines because I love sweet wines. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Sweet, but still a little strong, no? Yeah, it's strong. This is a little more soft. Mm, fantastic, this one. Mm -hmm. So after trying 10 different wines, we love two of them. These two. This is a sweet red, and this is so sweet, very sweet white. Continuing our drive south along the western coast, we're headed to Monolithos Castle for some epic views over the island. Monolithos Castle was built by the Knights of St. John in the 13th century. Admission is free to Monolithos Castle. Your climb will be rewarded with gorgeous views of the sea, backdrop by mountainous terrain, and the village of Monolithos in the distance. Down the western coast we cruise to a beach like no other in Greece. We are here at Cape Brasonisi. This is the southernmost tip of the island of Rhodes. It's 92 kilometers south from the town of Rhodes, and this is where two seas meet. To your left, we have the Mediterranean, and to your right, we have the Aegean Sea. It is a very popular place to go kite surfing and windsurfing. As you can see, the Aegean Sea is where the pros go. Back on the east coast, we head north to Lindos to see the impressive ancient Acropolis towering over the town. So one of the best ways to make your way up to the top of the Acropolis in Lindos is by taking the donkey. It's five euros to go up and five euros to go down for each person. Now let's make our way up. While it's possible to head up to the Acropolis on foot, we opted for a donkey ride for the steep ascent. We have just arrived at the Acropolis of Lindos. The Acropolis was founded in the 10th century BC and many civilizations have come through here from Greeks, Romans, Byzantine, the Knights of St. John who built the castle, and the Ottomans. It's the main site of Lindos, and it's a must-see on the island of Rhodes. Let's go explore the Acropolis. So there you have my list of top 10 things to do in Rhodes. The island is big enough to keep you busy for a few days, if not more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.